everybody. It's Maria. Thanks for joining me today on Saturday afternoon makeup chit chat. I'm sorry I haven't been getting these up in the mornings. I'm probably just going to label this something else right now because I'm getting them up in the afternoon. Although I had, had already applied my makeup earlier in the morning, but just had to take care of a few things. So hope you've had a great week. I've had a crazy week and not too great of a week, but tomorrow's a new day. Today's a new day and tomorrow starts a new week. So there you go. Um, I'm going to start sharing with you my uh, some my makeup bag of the week and my favorites of the week. I think that was pretty cool how I did that. So let me share with you my first my face of the day. I'm playing around with a look where I'm trying to do the outer V kind of look in my eye blending. And I use my NYX Nino New palette that I have. And I love this palette. It's awesome. Um, I have the gold color on my lid, which I wasn't too thrilled with at first, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to work with it. And then I have, I can't do this here, I have that color on the inner uh, corner, like, right here. And then on the outer part, I got, you know, I did it halfway, that color. And then I did probably one of these two colors to the brow, so... Anyway, let's put this on. I have on my I have my normal mascara combo and my uh, eyeliner I have on today. Now, don't you just hate it when you have something right in front of you and it's like poof. No wonder. I buried it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the Essence uh, Eyeliner in the Metallic Collection. This is Black Knight. There's the, it's on the bottom. The other two are my favorite uh, eye pencils of the week, and I'll get into those a little bit. They're both wet and wild. So I have that. And then on my face, I have my Maybelline Super Stay Liquid Foundation. I'm in Porcelain Ivory. I have my LA Colors Compact and Nude. I have on my blush, is a new bl uh, blush I got from a friend. Okay, so I'm just stupid thing. It's hard to text to get, get open, but some peach. Actually really pretty. And then I have, uh, I use my Clean Color Palette where I use um, this color for the highlight just a little bit, and then I use this color for the contour. I keep saying don't contour, but I, I just, I've just i been doing it so long that I guess it's just out of habit. Uh, on my nails today, I have this new Pure Eyes one called uh, China Girl. I don't like the consistency of this one. I will tell you now. That's what it is. So if it, my nails look messy, just excuse that because I got tired of fussing with it. Now, I have a new one also from them in Splash. What I didn't like about this one is that it was, you put two thin coats on there, let it dry, and then it still smudged. And it was like, what the heck? So, I put nail polish thinner in this one, and I may have to put more in there. I don't know. Okay, my favorite items of the week. Um, eyeshadow palette. I don't think I posted a review on this. If I have it, I will do one this weekend uh, as my schedule allows. The next uh, one, inspired by the movie Dark Shadows. There it is. Love this. This is a really good palette. I've even used the blushes on the other side. I want to blind with that mirror up there. So I've even been using HD primer from them. So it's actually working out really good. I love this palette. Um. And the blush I used a lot was the Fuchsia Fusion from Elf Studio. It's just in my door. I'm almost done with it, but I got bored with it. So, um, And then my lip product I used is the Essence Play With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss and Me and My Ice Cream. I had a lot of times just didn't wear lipstick. I wore this. So, yeah, wore that. Now, there was two days this week I did not wear makeup. It was that kind of a week. Matter of fact, whenever I went somewhere, people who knew me like, okay, what's wrong? You're not wearing makeup. <laughs> I didn't want to get into it with them, so I was just like, eh, don't worry about it. So, 
you know, and it was good to make, let, allow my face to breathe, so. Um, so far, I'm liking the Kroger Oil Free Makeup Remover. It's still pretty early, but I noticed last night when I took off my eye makeup, it took two swipes, one on the top and then one from the mascara, and it took the Rimmel one and the Maybelline one off, which can be a little hard to take off. Oh, my gosh. It's like, wow. That's, that's, that's better than up and up brand, so. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to be using up for my makeup bag of the week is my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I have not worn this in like two months. And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with this one? One of my favorites. I think I know part of the reason why is because I wanted to improve on my makeup skills on my eyeshadow application. And I'm wearing my Ulta Eyeshadow Palette that I wore yesterday. I really want to use this up more besides the one eyeshadow I wore. And then, of course, now that I have better lighting, I really want to use my um, naked palette. So, yep. Anyway, and then I'm going to be using the next blush in pink, peach, not pink. And then this one's going to be in rosy. So I'll be alternating with the, you know, different highlights and stuff like that. If I decide to do that. Um, same compact powder. Lip products, I'm actually going to wear Chakra, which I think I got right from NYX. And I think I found a really cool lip gloss color. I only have some forever stay moisture gloss and sugar cookie. And if I'm not wearing that, I'm going to be wearing, which I have on my lips, which I forgot to mention, the pink blush from Rimmel. I had a Maria moment, and what a Maria moment to me is, when I had a dental moment, I couldn't find it. Broke up in the backup one, wore that for a day, and then this morning I found this one. Or it should have been, so put the backup one, and I think this, uh, I put the backup one in the drawer, so this is probably a MAC dupe, I don't know which one, so pretty though. And if, we're, if I wear a lip gloss, I'll probably just continue wearing this one. Anyway, um, and my favorite nail polish of the week, by the way, was the bubblegum one I had on from Sally Hansen. Love that one, I got a lot of compliments on that, because I wore that with the Spitfire combo. Love it. Okay, um, and I also used a ton of the Aruba Coconut stuff. This is so awesome. I mean, I used it a lot more than I've ever used it. Uh, my, my crap product, I guess you can call for the week. I realized this is about the second or third time I've used this. I will not use it again. The NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Foundation. I hate this. This is a natural buff. The only good thing it did do was it blended in pretty seamlessly, but it oiled up so bad on my face that um, half of it was gone when I got home and I kept having to block my face. I don't know, it was just bad overall. I'm like, ugh. It felt like an oil slick on my face, so we'll not use that. And I know here in Texas it's starting to get humid and hot, but this thing's on a heck of a lot better than that, so. You don't know. Um, I've been toying with the idea of starting a card making scrapbooking channel. And I do have an account under a different name, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. But what I am planning on doing is doing a project I discussed with Veronica. And I'm going to be making these projects for the following people. Miss Veronica, 314, and I think it's Zero Baby Girl. Jamie, I'm sorry. I keep messing up your name. Um, Ashley, Everything Cupcake, uh, Beauty Maker for more. Um, I want to make you ladies a set of thank you cards for you guys to send out because you guys probably get uh, a lot of packages from people and that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to start doing that. I've already started a portfolio. I'm going to make one for Jamie and Bronca. Um, I don't know if Ashley will want one, but it's kind of like a, a book for you to put your pictures in for your makeup looks. Now this one was supposed to be it, but this would probably be used uh, Bill probably uses for kids, which I think would be a good idea because I need to make her a bigger one because she's got so many makeup looks that it really needs to be bigger. So I found this old uh, scrapbook album and my scrapbooking stuff, and I applied some Hello Kitty paper to it. So I'm going to be buying more Hello Kitty paper for everybody if I can, and I'm going to be sending this to B. But what you ladies are going to get is a stack of you tell me how many you think you'll need, and I will make them of cards where you can say 
thank you and see him run out and buy it. It will be homemade. And uh, like I said, for Jamie and if you four ladies, all four of you want a portfolio-ish, I call it brag, not really brag book, but a place to put your eye looks, you know, to come off at the store or whatever, that will definitely make that. And that's why I've been thinking about making the scrapbook, uh, card making channel because um, I consider myself an expert for sure in that area. And not because I work at a craft store, but because I've been, been doing this a lot of years and I've got a lot of awesome ideas. So, um, like, I'm going to show you one I did on myself. I we went I went to the Fort Worth Botanical Gardens a few years ago, and the guy I was dating at the time took the pictures, and I just turned on made it. And I thought it looked really good, and I thought, hmm. And I'm going to make sure, I really want to make a lot of my beauty YouTube friends some cards or whatever, you know, just an integrated with scrapbooking. So, but I'm also wanting to mix it up with scrapbooking in general. So I'm going to see if I can combine the two, but show tips on scrapbooking. So, anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be starting the, the scrapbooking channel or not, card making channel. Let's see what your thoughts are on it. I know I should do what I want to, but I think it'll be a really good idea. Just I'm kind of toying with it. Um, my husband thinks it'll be a good, a good idea for me to get back into it and to use up the supplies he's been in spent for a while. I did scrapbook a lot, but um, I took a break from it. For one, I got into the YouTube beauty community, but two, the main reason why I just I got burnt out of it and just I took a time out. So I'll let you guys know if I do, and if you guys want to subscribe, I'll let you guys know what the channel is. So. Um, let's see. I forgot to tell you guys my other favorite thing. It gets this every time. I got this coffee cup at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Let me tell you something. I've been wanting this. This doesn't exactly keep it cold, but it does a really good job of, you know, you can drip it. And I've got a permanent coffee cup. And I'm going to, you have to, you can hand wash it, but it's a really good, awesome one. As well as the last pink one there. So. Um, I also picked up the Install Magazine this week. It's got a really interesting article on Cameron Diaz that I've not finished so far reading. But they have on page, it starts on 275, and they have their Best Beauty Awards by type thing. And they have a lot of high end stuff that they also have from drugstores. They have it categorized by skin and what type of skin you have, some makeup, that kind of thing, and some really good reads in there. So, really information. I know uh, some people don't like around mention magazines, but I like to pass it out because not too many people know about these magazines. Five bucks to get a lot of pages with it. I did pick up the latest issue of All You Can, All You This uh, magazine, and there's some NYC coupons, some makeup coupons in there. I'm somewhere it's downstairs. So anyway, um definitely gonna get into that. Uh we have a baby bird by the way guys. I know it's totally my, but my husband told me about it and I'm thinking a little baby baby bird, huh? No. I'm gonna post a picture on Instagram, um and on my Facebook, but it's these are five and there's cats that keep coming around. I'm like, look dude, go away. And I went out there and every time I I, I started making a video or whatever today. The birds are just going swarming in. I thought, something's out there. It's a cat. So I had to shoot them off. And finally, I think it, I don't know where it went. I don't know if it's still down there or not. So I'm trying to keep the cat away from it. Oh. It's really cute, but kind of, um, I don't know if ugly stuff, but it's just, uh, it's nature. And uh, I took a picture of it on my phone. I scared it away. But the other birds, my husband told me, have been feeding it, which has been awesome. Why it chose our house, I don't know. And I couldn't figure out why my cat Smokey Joe has been just glued to the window. Now I know why. I don't he has this dumb thing where he'll hit the window thinking he's gonna do something like scare it, but it they just kinda look at him like, Okay, you know. And that's totally not make it really <laughs> it's funny to me. Um, and I'm also toying with the idea of moving my look products over here in this top drawer, my makeup section because I'm going to need that area for scrapbooking and card making, and it's starting to get a little hot and humid, and I need to keep it over here, because our second story up here, it gets a little, uh, 
little, you know, too much. So I'm going to be doing that here too. Uh, Try to work that over here. So anyway, um, I guess I'm gonna get off here and I'll clean my makeup brushes. I hope you guys have a great week. I got more videos planned. I'm just gonna do my schedule so I get to work today and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and peace.